Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Did it feel for really both of you tonight? You were dominating pretty early in that game up front. Yes, sir. I feel as though, you know, we needed a fast start by the D line. And, um, you know, last game, and with, it didn't go as planned. So we wanted to start fast, you know, and jump on quick. And I think this was the game to do it, to, you know, to get back on track. And how good did it feel to get that sack? Uh, it felt great. They didn't took so many away from me. I just I thought they were gonna take that one away because I hit them kind of low. I said, "Well, oh well, there go another one." <laughs> so just just to get one on the board was like a big monkey out my back. But to tell the truth, last week when I got one and it didn't count, I was just like, "Man, forget it. I ain't gonna even worry about them." And then lo and behold, I got another one this week, so they won't count it. Yo, it, so. it is a baller, man. You know, like you said, they took like three sacks away from them in the last couple of games and um. For him to get that sack too, I was I was more excited for him than anything, you know, because he deserved it. But uh, he's a baller. Farah, you've seen a lot in this league. You've been around <clears throat> as a veteran. When you have a performance like last week where it didn't go well for you guys, especially up front, did you yeah. say something early on this week to, to the group? Did you step up and say something? Uh, I, I always do. You know, um, like I said, I always start with the D line first. You know, that's my position group. And uh, the D line, you know, we work so hard. You know, and um, for you to come up short the way we did, you know, sometimes it can be demoralizing. But like I said, I've been in this league a long time. You know, I didn't kick a lot of people's ass. I didn't got my ass kicked too. You know, that's just the nature of the business. But you got to flush that and do it all over again. And you know, everybody had a great mindset going into this game. You know, we, we were just ready, and, uh, and we showed it when we got out there. And what is it about the Thanksgiving games for you? You had in Dallas big game, a big game tonight. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. Both both of the games been uh been pretty close to home. Like I got a lot of family in Louisiana, a lot of family in uh, Texas. So I get in front of my folks. It's like man, I, I didn't pay for all these tickets y'all to come here. So <laughs> hey, I gotta go hard unless I'm wasting money. Really. <laughs> How many tickets for this one? Uh, forty. Yeah, forty tickets. So I basically. Played for free, and my mom then was in a box, so <laughs> I, I played for free. <laughs> but I know I know they appreciate it. So. They do, they do. So. I'm good on uh, run defense tonight. Like, obviously, they're down Camara and right. Ingram, but you guys had to stop the run first, right? And uh, you did. Yeah. Well, you can say they down, but it's the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get paid to be here, so it don't matter if Camara was there or not there. Anybody can run the football. You gotta. Take it upon yourself to knock it out. If they run, if they got a running back back there, like yeah. you say, this NFL, they deserve to be there. Right. So it don't matter who was back there. You know, it was up for us to stop them. It don't matter who was back there. And I think we did a tremendous job doing it. Yeah. Everybody on the defense, any of the units, or even on the offense, too, special teams, they their unit would also say we we needed to get out to a fast start today, like you said yes, sir. here at the beginning. Why though, if you can maybe elaborate, why you guys felt as a unit, uh, maybe you had something to prove or. What it was, why you felt it as a as a group. We know the way we played. You know, um, last game it wasn't us. So getting out to a fast start, you know, it just gave us more momentum, and we feed off each other. You know, the offense feed off the defense, defense feed off the offense, special teams feed off both groups. We feed off special teams. So when guys make big plays, everybody you know jump up, and it's just it's just fun. It's fun when you jump on fast. Versus when you had to come from behind, and um, we got a good team, we got a damn good team, but sometimes we don't play like it. So the thing we gotta do is, is play more consistent ball, and we just gotta continue, you know, to find a way, you know, to play consistent ball. Mario, the uh, fourth and two play, can you just kind of describe what what you saw there? It seemed like Ed was pretty disruptive in the middle, and then you were able to finish that play. <clears throat> so the center snapped the ball. You know, it happened so fast. <laughs> Some guys didn't move. So we thought somebody was outside. So I'm like, then I seen Ed shoot the gap. I'm like, oh, Ed made him bounce to me. And while I was going in for the tackle, and um, he kind of stiff on me a little, you know, but I kept, you know, crawling and scratching. And he, when he fell to the ground, I have his hair. Because last time when I got stiff on by Derrick Henry, we, hey, when Derrick Henry stiff on me in that Tennessee game, it was a three yard loss. He didn't throw me. So, it's, you know, he didn't throw me. But, no, I, I just – I know I had to get him down. So, I went to, um, you know, crawling and scratching. And when he fell, man, it was 
the whole crowd went crazy. You know, we had enough Buffalo fans here to really just take over. And uh, they went crazy. And to see the sideline, you know, and the guys behind me just, you know, jumping up and down, that's fun, man. That's fun ball. And I think, they, I think they officially credited the sack as a split between you and F.A. after. Oh, we're going to have to turn that in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my first name coming in, hell, no, no, no. <laughs> nah, but that, that's cool, though. I ain't tripping.